Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez gets it wrong again. According to her, 40% of Americans can't afford basic needs. 40%. That's not only misleading, it's flat out wrong. Let's look at the facts. Okay, today I want to just give you what we call a quick hit over here. I noticed this tweet from AOC and it just couldn't pass without me straightening it out and showing you the facts. All right, take a look at this tweet. Even billionaires are acknowledging it, folks. When 40% of Americans can't afford basic needs or a $400 emergency, the problem isn't unique, it's systemic. It's not good for anyone. Even billionaires know they can't afford, they can't shield themselves from this kind of perilous instability. All right, see, in that tweet, she quotes a CNBC article from January, which they interview billionaire hedge fund owner Ray Dalio. Okay, he's t talking about the ills of capitalism. And in that article, they quote a survey from the Federal Reserve. They do this periodically that talks about the kind of the economic stability of and comfort of Americans. All right. And this is where she gets her number. She says 40% of Americans can't afford basic needs. That's her tweet. Here are the facts. That's not what the report said at all. What the report said is if you had a $400 emergency, could you pay, basically pay for it in cash up front, or would you need to do something like put it on credit, borrow, maybe sell a few things in order to pay for it? It has nothing to do with poverty. It has to do with savings. A lot of the questions in that survey address people's saving patterns and saving practices. You know, are they comfortable with their retirement? You know, why? Not only because they might not make enough money, but because they're not saving, because they're spending on frivolous items. That's what this question addresses. If $400 emergency came up, do you have the cash on hand to do it? It doesn't just address poverty. It doesn't address being able to afford basic needs. But that's how the left and that's how AOC here spins it. OK, and what's interesting is this 40 percent number of people who say that they'd have to do something, you know, borrow or sell something is actually better. It's 10 points better than it was in 2013, where 50% of people said that they'd have to borrow something. So the economic situation for Americans is actually getting better, yet she tries to spin it by saying it's getting worse and that 40% of people can't afford basic needs. So you have to look at the facts, you have to look at the real data, and you have to look at how people are spinning things. And AOC just flat out gets it wrong here. And so is she being misleading or is she just being ridiculous and stupid? I don't know, but the facts show it right there. It's not about being able to afford a $400 emergency. Is do you have the cash on hand right now based on any number of factors, including your ability to save or your propensity to spend on items you may not need? You have to have all the facts before you throw out a figure like that. So anyway, that's our quick hit for today. Take a look at her tweet and take a look at the facts. I'm Bobby Everly. Sign up, tune in, and we'll see you next time.